lot of talk before that game that would he play with Ericsson and, Kase- and um, McTominay in the middle where City will probably dominate the football for so long. But at the end of the day, he wanted to stick to his gut and his gut failed him. So, Oye, I'll start with you. Uh, where did ETH go wrong in that game? Or was there anything, even if it went right, <laughs> was there anything that could have stopped that like, battery? Like Tomwa said, I like going from the opposite. I want to start with the lineups. I'm not going to lie. I expected a draw. I put malaria in my FPL team. Like, I, will, I, I was really, really confident of a draw. Why? City had a lot of people that turned the minutes in international break. If anyone was meant to be more fatigued, it's them. Yes, I know United have a lot of players that in international um, that play for their countries as well. But I just felt like you guys could get something off that game. Secondly, the only thing missing from a catastrophe at that back four was John Stones. I was looking for John Stones because I saw Ake, I saw Akonji. I was like, where's John Stones? Like, I just want John Stones to play so that United fans won't have any reason like not to get something out of this game so that i would be like ah okay this guy you've really really hyped eth because you know i was one of these prisoners like after the um international break i was like this guy has made steve clark from scotland consider playing him in um, midfield and so on and so forth like i was really all about prison how he deserved to win the manager of the month for september but i always tell people it's just how game starts a very good example is liverpool versus sports the most boring champions league final in history if Liverpool did not get that early goal, Salah penalty, first minute after the ball hit Sissoko's hand, the game could have gone either way. So it was how the game started. And the truth is, when you have four goals in one half, it's really, really difficult to come from there, except your ass now. Um, check Tiote, God bless his soul. Um, those are the few teams that can bottle the four goal halftime lead. So um, going to your I question suppose. about <laughs> where ETH got it wrong, I feel like playing um the double pivot of McTominay and Ericsson was not even the issue because he has done it four on the bounce in quote don't change a one a winning formula but Rashford being 6.6 6.5 5.8 I heard his fitness was shaky why don't you just go with someone that yes he won't play it well but at least he has played it in the past and you guys have had less damage control i was i won't lie i was looking at a bruno force nine to be very honest a bruno force nine adding an extra leg in midfield yes i know we don't like him a fred in midfield casamiro has that in quotes um rule of shaka that is playing this season let me use another player that seems to have changed his midfield role he will be it just gives that element of surprise that people not really know what to expect another um, another um, partnership I didn't really see coming was um, this guy starting. I thought that, um, with all due respect, I thought Elanga would play. I'm serious. Not because. Is it for Beans? No, 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 no. Is it Not... for Dodo? <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I agree. I, I agree. Not, with you. not uh, allow Milan Bamji. Not, not in place of Anthony. Not in place of Anthony. In place of Sancho. Because we, we've seen how Sancho has um, really like played so well in in big games like Chelsea, Arsenal and the likes. So I felt like Sancho reading the game from the bench might have helped. But then again, when the options are short, like my friend Omokoji will always say, he's on our home of TS Hell Group, he will say that people like Varane <laughs> give Maguire the opportunity to be relevant in Manchester United. <laughs> Varane will have four good games and injure for the remaining. <laughs> many, sorry, I'm laughing. Varane, he said that players, Omokoji, my friend on uh, our WhatsApp group, said that players like Varane give uh, sorry players like Varan and Marshall give players like Maguire and Elanga the chance to still be members of the Manchester United first team because they can't stay fit over like I don't know if you guys remember when Declan Rice and Maguire played three seasons straight to straight 38 38 38 back to back to back they are not players that can play those type of minutes so you still have to like you, you need to play with players that are in quote Elanga, Pelestri and so on and so forth then the Aniola's faction of United will say, should Ronaldo have played? To be very honest, I, I will come up with my famous saying of hindsight 2020. Ronaldo's place is not really in United again. I see Facundo Pellistri starting a game over Ronaldo at this rate. I don't know if it's a behavioral thing. I don't know if it's the fact that Ronaldo is sharing the grace on his Premier League career. I don't really, I can't spot or pick a reason. But I feel like the tactics, right, is in the fact that a flying Rashford can really cause harm. A, especially to a big side. We saw what he did against Liverpool. We saw what he did against Arsenal. 
he could have I told someone that I could bet a bottle of his favorite brew that Rashford will score if fit in the Manchester Derby. I don't know who will win, who will lose because I predicted a 2-2 draw. But the fact that Rash I don't know, do you guys see Rashford in that game? It was really, really lethargic. Yeah, I didn't really see off. anything. It was off. Marshall played 10-15 minutes and he even did more than Rashford in that game. So um summary of the whole thing, one of Sancho Anthony should have sat. Rashford should have also sat if it wasn't fit enough. And I, I'm not joining those people to say that um, Ericsson and McTominay shouldn't have played the myth because it has been working since. Yeah, so, but, but it, it is. When, when you say it's been working since, it's been working because you've not had to play against a midfield of good Ogan Bernardo Silva and Kevin De Bruyne, uh, where you cannot collect, the, uh, where you cannot collect so, the ball. Sorry, I know everyone wants to say something, but didn't you guys see that Rodri didn't play that game? And this same Gundogan, if you remember Bamiji, it was Okwe's favorite excuse for that Champions League. In quote, Gundogan is not a DM. That was a gap, Bamiji. Fine, I agree with you, but Rodri was for a team that was going to be attacking them. We didn't. Did, we had literally no attack. Manchester United had literally no attack in that game. Or when they did, the Eda Sancho mess it up with a pass. Or like you said, Rashford was lethargic and it showed with his injury. So I, I feel ETH should have probably noted that one I, I i don't want to say i agree with you about elanga because sancho did score against manchester city last year so i don't agree with you and i think eth is a very progressive coach he's someone that even though because when he came out and he said the, these players lacked belief i made it I, I i think he told them fine even if we're gonna sit back i want you guys to attack but people like malaysia people like um that low. Um, that low. It seemed like they were afraid of, of the game, of the moment, and that's where it didn't work for them. And I think that he was giving that comment to those guys. But let me hear from Tayo, from a United point of view. Where, where did we? Where did it go wrong? Um, w- not a lot of people were expecting United to win that game, but like I always say, nobody expected six at least six goals to be considered. I saw terrible things. Yeah, we, we if, uh, you you couldn't at, at the point in time you couldn't see very clearly. Yeah, I I, I, I couldn't see very clearly. My, my eyes were beginning to hurt me. And if you're, in yeah, case you're I just wondering, hope you didn't change it for your babe that day. <laughs> <laughs> and in case you're wondering, that's why I'm I'm, I'm currently wearing shades in the studio <laughs> because of that. I saw I saw very terrible things. And like 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 what said, um, hindsight is always twenty twenty. Um, you pointed out that. Dalo and Malaysia looked like they were scared of the game. Within, I'd like to remind you that within uh, within 90 seconds of the game starting, Dalo collected a yellow card. Um, he attempted a tackle on Grealish and he missed and he got carded for it. That is uh, th- th- that on it's, its own. It's it's it, 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 it's able. It it will destabilize almost any fullback. You are going against a ball hugger who likes to dribble and draw fouls in Grealish and it's barely 90 seconds into the game you're already on a yellow card you have to be you're on ice for the entire game um looking at city looking at um the profiles city had i personally could have i i i personally would have expected a switch up for like just in that right back position either you have learned a lot of playing as and auxiliary as a right back for the, the last game. time that happened was, or, was terrible though yeah or you have um or you have Aaron Wan bissaka playing in that position why because um they have Grealish for that position they have Bernardo Silva for that position and Foden also plays there what you have in common among these three is they are, they're not the most explosive wingers when they're playing when, when they're playing that wide they're not the most exp- explosive wingers so you don't exactly have to worry about them beating your defenders with peace what you have to worry about is their trickery and their dribbling skills and having dalo on players like that is always going to be a worry because dalo is not the best timer of his tackles and that was evident in the first 90 seconds also we had um you had pep pinning pinning down both fullbacks with his with with his wingers staying as wide as anything you ha- you, ha- you have to inverted wingers who decided not to invert anything they, they, they stayed as wide as possible throughout the game <laughs> so you, th- th- that tactical switch pretty much spoiled everything that um everything that um ten Hag had done because if you notice how united attack 
we always have we, we, we always have our wing, um, our fullbacks pushing up to assist our wingers so having dalo and malaysia pinned back meant that our our front three will definitely be isolated he's not there yet that one is a fact that's the first thing <laughs> i don't like how can he <laughs> <from our own. laughs> he's looking so relaxed <laughs> and i don't know now i'm on that pressure <laughs> No, I'm just kidding. Yeah. So in terms of that, I actually have no panic whatsoever. It's, I think it's even good. It's a reality check. People get carried away with victory, thinking that they're there when they're not. We were playing. We played against with a Liverpool side that, I mean, that doesn't look like a Liverpool side. They will beat us now. I mean, that's is us now. <laughs> so, oh, come so on. That, that's oh, self. Come that's self explanation. Oh, then me, what I'm going. Why I like Oli. Oli was the only person that had Pep's medicine. And it was very true, simple. True, true, you true, can't true, outplay true. Manchester City's medicine. Yeah, just relent. Destroy it! Me, let me lie. Me, I will be very honest, but I was a manager. My midfield trio, Casimiro, McTominay, and Fred. So, where are Ericsson and Bruno Bro, let, let, them, let them relax. <laughs> I said destroy, bro, destroy everything. As this company, just destroy. Don't even create. Just destroy, destroy, destroy. <laughs> and the reason why I'm saying, <laughs> no, the reason I'm actually saying that is because um, if, you, if you want to do that kind of formation, you now bring in Bruno as a, I would call it a supporting striker role. Striker artista. You get. But he's playing from deep. So Bruno now ends up, and that's why you now have Ericsson, because that's a role that either Bruno or Ericsson can Can't play. play. Yeah. So you now, t- um, the way you now arrange it, you have your four defenders at the back. You have your three destruction through you. That is just like a like a smiley. So at the, at the at the end of the day, you're trying to say a concept or a a a programming that was built. That's McFred was still needed at the end of the day. <laughs> yeah. In fact, if we if we look at it, this is what I said it. Gave Th- Tyler said Mark it. Tomorrow Fred I said it. There are spotlights. Because they are this destroyers. is why they were created. This is why they were created. Honestly, this is why when they were in the lab, this is what. But they I don't like the way you're looking. No. <laughs> but, but it's actually a fact because City is a is a ball dominating team. The biggest way to beat City is to confuse them. Word. I remember there was one game that City played against Oami, against um, that Pep plays against Oli, and after the press conference, Pep is like, "We didn't know what." To <laughs> That's the, that's actually the way to go about because if you okay, let me continue with this. You play your four defenders at the back, you play your three destruction yeah. trio <laughs> as, as a smiley face. It's it's not, so, I mean, Vershanti was the following said, Ah, three DMs, <laughs> bro. Negative ah. approach. If you chop him, people wait, will yab him after four wins wait, in the wait, room. Wait. If, he, if he clicks, yeah, a great manager. If he doesn't, he knows how be. <laughs> so now you now put Bruno as the nose on the smiley, right? So it they just leave no a diamond. I said, look, a destroy mod. Bro, I did there. I said, see, this is this formation that I'm telling you. This is the greatest sacrifice to the gods of Aram. <laughs> this, is, this will be the greatest Aram ball to it, ever be it, played. It, ETH cannot play like that. Yeah, that's that's what it is, no, yeah. but that's why that's why I expect. Mario Michelobi. Bro, I said, because look at it now. If you play that that trio of destruction, put Bruno right in front of them, they now leave. Either Anthony or Rashford, people that they still get skinny for their leg and they can run. So you know that they are just playing full on counter. I enjoyed the game. I told Bamiji, I told him something. I said the fear of Haaland is the beginning of wisdom, and Haaland didn't prove me wrong. So I, I, I'm so excited. I, I told Bamiji something. During Arsenal Man U's game, Bamiji beckoned on me to, to come and film that game, and that was the most <laughs> devastating day of my life. Watching my team lose, I'm recording my <laughs> opponent celebrate, singing "Glory, Glory, Man United." <laughs> you guys do your job I, to collect I, balance. I, I couldn't sleep for three days, <laughs> so I cried out. To, I cried out to God again. I said, my, "My Father, my Lord, <laughs> grant me my heart desires." <laughs> and the Lord said unto me, "My son, relax, for joy." We've been been enjoyed for the night, but joy cometh in the morning. Hallelujah. Mm. Amen. 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 And lo and behold, less than 10 minutes, a goal came in. And I was so excited. I came in, I was pumped. (laughs) Bamiji was looking so devastated. (laughs) And that only gave me joy. So it was a great game. It was a great game. It was a great game. I knew, I I, I, I wasn't expecting Man U to to win that game. You know, honestly, like City have been flying. Haaland has been flying. And I don't see any way... 
Manu was going to pose a threat against 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 them. Man, you know the way um, winning runs start. They start with one game. Mm-hmm. Guys, United is playing Everton away. Who remembers Anthony Gordon last season? Actually, After Everton away. PTSD. Thank you. After Everton away. Sorry, I'm skipping Europa for reasons best known to everyone. I don't want to talk about Europa League because I mean we'll go on and on. Let's talk Premier League. Everton, After Everton, Tottenham, you Chelsea. You have Spurs. You have Chelsea. Sorry, sir. I don't want you to meet me when I'm on form. This could be the season. Of, of what? <laughs> this could be the season. Okay, so you, 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 you started your point with saying that um, you know how winning runs So start. basically, I'm so trying to say are you you trying to say that go on we're about to start a losing run. streak. No, I'm saying that you guys can go on a losing run if ETH feels that you should still be progressive week in, week out. It should be bespoke. You, you guys saw Big Brother fin- finale now. I don't know if you guys saw what Ebuka did with the suits. Yeah, yeah we and saw, saw With the trad. The suit I was tried. okay, so the suit was all the housemates on it, and the trad was John Boy guys looking the woman king. So basically, Eric Ten Hag should go into Everton playing the game just for Everton. He should go into Spurs playing the game just for Spurs. He should go into Chelsea playing the game just for Potter and Moyes just for Moyes. Well, and when he's playing against Apollo or Mimunokia or Nimunia or all those no man. <laughs> oh no, me oh, oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's funny. Oh, my, yeah, I'll be like this is <laughs> sorry please oh, is that is that is that time of the show again i mean i call this bet now pay now okay who is that wait speaking of without for my thank you just give me now i'm not giving you now there's no point i'm not giving you see even if even if new number one even if they carry to me okay i'll pray for you someone i am not giving you Okay, no problem. Wait. Do you want to put five? Alpha, uh, Bamji, yeah. wait till we go use that thank you. Chick with no one. Just no matter. <laughs> send one. Me and then you're like, those that we support you okay. all day. So all of us just like, like okay, I'm gonna buy three chick with that chicken pie for everybody. You did, you did, you did talk of <laughs> me, I want to talk of the one we will go down. So Tomwa, I'm proposing five thousand naira mm. that says you won't win Everton, Tottenham Hotspot and Chelsea. Sir, if you draw or lose any of those three games, right? Mm-hmm. If you draw or lose, you give me five. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, oh, mm-hmm. it's not balanced. Yeah, God bless. I was about to say that. If you win all three, I give you ten. How about that? <laughs> Bamji Alpha, same formation. Balazo, Jiggy, Porga, Peluchi, Quiz. Sorry, Kenny Morgan. Come, come, come and do the honors. Another 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 another. Another. So, come and do this with <laughs> So, in, say, in the name of the sports lounge, <laughs> in the name of the sports I, I, I commission this bet. I commission this bet. Um, to our listeners, um, in case you don't know what's going on, <laughs> Tomwa and Ohiz, that's yes. Big Daddy T and Ohiz, the agenda, agenda god. god. Yeah, they just have, um, they just placed a bet um, over the next three Manchester United games. Premier League games. Premier League. Manchester games. United Premier League. Ga- Manchester United Premier League games. Um, Tomwa says we'll win all three. The agenda god says they will drop points. They will drop the points way. along the way. So if, if and if the points are dropped, Tomwa gives the agenda god five grand. If Manchester United win all three, the, the agenda got paid ten grand. I mean, Alpha, if you want to, um, when we win all three, I want to come out. With if you want to, pa- if, if <laughs> want to participate <laughs> in it, as me, will go cool. If you want to, if you want to, I am for Misha.